everyone, welcome back to the monthly roundup. As usual, if you need any more information to the things we cover, check out our description. Let's get started. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a new card in the audience tab of analytics that tells you what time your audience is active on YouTube. This can help you decide when to upload your videos, go live, or schedule a premiere. We're happy to hear lots of you find this card useful, so check it out if you haven't already. Many of you have been putting timestamps in your video descriptions to help guide viewers to specific sections of your video. Now, if you put timestamps in your description, we'll automatically mark them in the progress bar of your video. We're calling these video chapters. Here's what you need to do if you want video chapters to show for your video. One, include at least three timestamps or chapters in your video description. Two, the first timestamp needs to start at zero seconds. And three, each chapter needs to be 10 seconds or longer. For all monetizing creators, we introduced a new metric in YouTube analytics called RPM, or revenue per thousand views. It's calculated as total revenue divided by total views times a thousand. This metric includes all creator earnings, including ads, channel memberships, YouTube premium revenue, and super chat, so that you don't have to calculate revenue from multiple sources yourself. RPM is different from CPM, which focused on advertiser cost for ad enabled views and didn't really tell you how much was earned across all of your views. You can view the new RPM metric by going to the revenue tab in YouTube analytics. Over time, we hope RPM can help you judge the effectiveness of your content, channel growth, and monetization strategy. Some more good news for monetizing creators. Videos now only need to be eight minutes long to have mid-rolls enabled. As a reminder, mid-rolls are advertisements that play in the middle of a video. We hope this means that you can have mid-rolls enabled on more videos and increase your channel's opportunities to earn money. As part of this update, we opted in existing eligible videos to serve mid-rolls ads and defaulted new videos to having mid-roll ads turned on. We notified impacted creators that this was happening and gave you an opportunity to opt out before the change took place. Check out this video from us to learn more about mid-roll ads. This one's for the streamers. We launched Live Control Room, or LCR, in YouTube Studio more than a year ago to help streamers create and manage live streams all in one place. Recently, we rolled out new improvements that specifically make it easier to go live immediately and schedule streams. Now, in the Stream tab of LCR, your previous stream settings will be copied automatically to enable you to go live more quickly, you can reuse the same stream key for multiple streams, and you can start and stop streams from your encoder. So watch page won't be created and notifications won't be sent out until you're ready to go live. Starting in early August, we'll gradually roll back some classic streaming options from the left-hand navigation menu and you should see a notification in YouTube Studio before this happens to your channel. If you haven't started yet, we've linked some information to help get you going. And that's it for this month. I'm Daniel, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Sorry, my hair keeps changing shape.